Welcome back, you beautiful souls. Thank you so much for keeping it locked. We are very excited for a number of reasons this morning. A lot of them centered around season 10 of Tropica Island of Treasure. It's celebrating 10 amazing seasons in the only way they can with the all-star season. And they'll be bringing back past celebs from all past seasons who we absolutely love, the crowd favorites. And Roxy Lowe certainly fits that bill. She was a viewer favorite from the very first season of Tropica Island of Treasure. And she is here this morning to tell us about her smooth memories, if she can actually remember that time, because this is... This is like over a decade ago. Yeah, 14 years ago. Oh, my word. Crazy to think. What was that experience like? It was broadcast on YouTube. It was a completely different mindset. It's become so competitive now. What was it like then? And can you still remember the vibe and what it was like being on the island and living? Well, you yeah. live in a bikini anyway, so I suppose that, <laughs> that comes naturally. But what are your, your memories of that time? Wow, it was super special though as well because it was the first one. We were kind exactly. of pioneering the whole thing. So it was really cool. Um, I met such cool people. I've still got friends from 14 years back. Um, the island experience was special. And obviously we were on Mauritius then <laughs> and there was nothing. You know, it wasn't like Mauritius today where there's so much, everything's so commercial and there's yeah. so much on the island, there was barely anything. Um, so we got to see Mauritius in its raw natural state, which is super cool. Um, obviously, the, I, I would imagine one of the best parts is the dynamic between all of the celebs on the show, the chemistry. It's vital that you and your partner obviously get on incredibly well and can work well together as a team. Can you remember some of the celebs that stood out in that first season? Who were the, the ones that stood out for you? Wow, um, Pam Andrews, she won, so obviously she's a standout. Kelly Kamalo, I love Kelly, we're very close. Superstars, yeah. Superstars, Joey Rustin, um, I'm on three now. <laughs> 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 um, Heino Smith, Nadine, Gift, Luis Obalo, what a special oh. soul. See, that was a really nice group of people, all sweet and lovely. Since then, things have progressed a little bit. It's become really competitive. Obviously, like 500,000 Rand is, is a massive, massive prize. You get to split a million with your partner. How are you feeling about going into this round now? Are you nervous? Are you excited? Are you thinking about the island and just <laughs> chilling out? Where's your headspace at? Because I have a feeling this is going to be probably one of the toughest seasons to date. It's definitely <laughs> going to be tough. And... I mean, the mental prep leading into it, I'm not quite sure what it's going to be like, first of all, because I haven't been there for 14 years. Just play Sudoku every day. <laughs> Sudoku and push-ups every day. Ooh, Sudoku, okay, good point. <laughs> I didn't know even think things. about that. <laughs> it's an opportunity to get away. How do you wrap your head around disappearing out of the real world because you go into this bubble, and I know bubble's a negative word to use these mm. days, mm. but this is a happy bubble, a positive bubble. How are you feeling about unplugging from the real world and stepping into this Tropica Island of Treasure bubble Oh, again? I'm so excited. Tropica cocktails, nice people, yeah. the sunshine. <laughs> <laughs> what is going to win it for you now? How are you wrapping your head around that side of things? Because surely you've got to go into this with a strategy. You've got to have some kind of competitive edge because it's going to be pretty fierce, I think, from the yeah. get-go. Yeah, definitely. Um, just preparing, mentally, mentally preparing, physically preparing, cross-training, because you really don't know what's going to be thrown at you. So it's just getting into, like you said, that headspace of competition, of the island, and just that disconnect from reality. It's, yeah, I'm so excited. I mean, the games itself must have evolved so much in the last 14 years. I, I can't wait to see what What's They're in store for us? You, man. I just, I remember our crew came back broken from the last <laughs> one, so I can only imagine what the contestants go through. So we're going to chat about the entering process and, and how those that want to come and join you on this odyssey can get involved. What do you think you're going to need from your partner? What do you bring to the party in terms of your strengths and how do you think you're going to need to be balanced out, if you will? Cool. Well, for me, it's not so much balancing out, but it's rather communicating together and, and being that. a strong team. So having someone that's a good communicator so we can make sure we speak in the same language, <laughs> someone that's calm under pressure and big match temperament, it's a real thing, which is one of my strengths. And hopefully I'll get someone that's in the same space and then having fun. You don't want anyone stressing out. You want to have a jaw. 
because um, that's what we're really there for. And, and chatting to Anga, he was saying, like, because he lost, I think, every one of his challenges just about or came second last up until crunch time in the last two weeks, and they suddenly won and they came good. And he said it was purely because he and his partner were loving every second of it, because you get to have so much fun. And you look at a, a, a <laughs> challenge like this, what are you nervous about? What has got you staying up at night? Is there anything that you're a little bit kind of insecure about? Um, definitely the unexpected. Um, I'm not quite sure where to prep and where to train. Um, nervous, no. I'm more excited. I'm a bit of a problem solver myself and I like to think out of the box. I'm a creative thinker. Um, so whatever gets thrown at me, as long as I've got enough time just to kind of string it all together, I'm sure I'll be fine. You'll be fine. You do have the BMT. We've seen it before. You've got a beautiful group going with you and it's all lovely people as well. It's so strange. I think this, or maybe it's after the last two years that we've all experienced collectively, but it feels like we're all friends in the industry now. Everyone is connected. How are you feeling about the group of superstars that you are going to the island with oh, this year? No, it's so awesome. I mean, especially after COVID, the entertainment industry like took a bit of a knock. So it's Completely. so nice to just kind of talk about that and and talk about the realness of what the last few years have been and then to step forward and create a springboard for us going forward. And those relationships again, like seeing Kelly after 14 years, it's just been so amazing. Seeing Sashi, another good friend, Jono, like, these are all my mates. Um, and, and they're and, all competitive. And competitive, but we're leaving that part out until we get on uh, the field. And, and then the fire we're is not going on the field to yet. burn. <laughs> oh man, it's gonna get heated up and just wait till we start pairing you off and this kicks into a higher gear. It's going to get crazy. I have a feeling this is going to be the biggest, most publicised, most enjoyed season <laughs> to date. And I'm so glad that you're there, one of the OGs from season one. And this is, it would make it like almost cosmic sense for you to win season 10 Absolutely, to come back. Absolutely, eh? definitely. Season uh, one, season 10. There's something in the numbers. Get, get a hold of a numerologist <laughs> and actually find out what's in that. We love you, man, and we are so excited. I'm going to say this to all the contestants because I love you all. <laughs> uh, but right now, we want you to win for the next like three hours. You're the girl, girl. Um, for the next three you. months. Yeah. yeah, for the next three months, we're going to push. <laughs> um, Roxy, thank you so much for joining us this morning. She's going to be putting some of us through our paces this morning, doing what she does best. And and we're going to hear a little bit more from her and uh, about how you guys at home can get in on the act and what she expects from her partner. But this is how you can possibly join Roxy and those all-stars in season 10. What you've got to do is your, send your name, uh, and that's to our WhatsApp number, 082-857-8054. Really simple. Follow the link or upload your audition video on the socials tagging at my Tropica and hashtag Tropica. All important, don't forget that. And then you'll get your chance to get your spot on the island and possibly to be chosen as one of those competitors who are gonna be going for that cool one million bucks. And we want you to tell us why you should be chosen to compete with one of these all-star celebs and stand a chance of winning that share of, as, as I said, a smooth one million rand. It could be you joining Anga and the all-star celebrities on the island, but you've got to put your hand up. We'll tell you how in just a moment.